Hello, my friend has got one of his IKEA work tables. It's one of these ones you can buy different tops and different legs and do your own combination of things. And in a move, it broke. And I thought it's interesting to see what it's actually made out of. I think my friend Keith Brown did a video about it years ago, but the inside is just cardboard. And what they do is put some little bit of wood in the ends so you can actually screw the legs onto. These legs weren't tall enough, so what her dad had done is put some blocks of wood on. But with the leverage of the moving, it all just snapped. So this top looks very much like a door. It's one of these white laminate tops. And I said I'd make her a new desk, thinking I could make her something really nice. But what she wants is exactly the same thing. Just this horrible white stuff. Well, I probably shouldn't say it's horrible because it's what she wants. But I understand she's a crafter. So it's just really practical to have a flat, smooth surface that's easy to keep clean. So as much as it pains me, you've got to give the customer what they want. So I bought some of this furniture board. This is 18 mil thick. So it's nowhere near as thick as the bit I have. It needs to be 1.6 metres long, so the first job is to grab the track saw and get it cut down. Right, tabletop done. Simple as that, but not quite, because now we've got three problems. Not enough material to actually screw the legs into. Even if I did screw the legs into, it now won't be tall enough because the old worktop was much thicker and it had the extra bits of wood in. And because this is thinner, I don't think it'd be strong enough if I just put extra wood at the ends. So we need to fix all three problems. And what I think is gonna work to fix it is to use some three by twos to make a frame that goes around the base. So the first job is to get them cut down to the length of this or a couple of bits. I've changed my mind. I'm actually just going to start with getting the two long edges cut down first. I've done the long edges first because they have square sides and I want to get those removed and I'm going to rip them off on the table saw but it will change how thick they are or how wide they are uh, which will mean that I change the dimensions of the two end pieces I need to cut so I've got to do these first now if I just bought square wood to start with I could have saved all this faff but this is cheaper and I had some I have the long pieces squared up and I also squared up some of the off -cut cuts so now I can see how long they're going to need to be to fit in and I'm going to get those cut on the mitre saw. I now I've got all the bits I need to make a frame but I need a way of actually attaching them together. And what I'm gonna use is a self-centering doweling jig and some dowels. I'm using 40 mil dowels, so I've set the depth stop on my drill bit so it protrudes out of the jig 20 mil. Now, I can just get the wood, the end bits particularly, clamped up, get the jig centered and drill a couple of holes.
The long pieces, I think, are slightly tricky, trickier to do because I can't get them stood up in the vise. But doing them at an angle like this, I think, is going to work fine. You don't really need to clamp this jig, but I find it makes it just a little easier if you help it hold in place. I wonder how many of you have been screaming at me when I've been doing this, because I've drilled the holes in the wrong place. Um, I'm going to go back and drill them into the sides of these long pieces like I should have done in the first place. You shouldn't rush through projects. Anyway, what I think I'll do is get some dowels in the wrong holes, glued in and trim them off, and you'll never notice. Stupid mistake averted. Now I can get some glue put in the holes, the dowels tapped into place and the whole thing brought together. I've been away for a few weeks dog sitting and uh, clearly I've forgotten how to woodwork. So well done for everyone that noticed. Perfect. Just going to get a couple of clamps on here until it all dries and I'll check to see if it's all square, which it should be. Whilst I wait for this glue to dry, I'm just going to get a bit of glue on some dowels and get them tapped into all these extra holes I've created. The glue's dried on this now, so I'm gonna get my dowels trimmed off. Then I can give this whole frame a sand down. This frame now needs attaching to the top and what I've got to do it is some contact adhesive. So I'm gonna get the frame flipped over and some of this squeezed onto it. Get this flipped back over try not to get the adhesive anywhere I don't want it and then to lock this in place what I have is some screws that are just gonna bite down into the top below the frame So that's a frame around it and that solves one of our three problems making this strong but it's still not tall enough for the legs and it doesn't give me enough material for the legs to go into. So what I've done is I've taken a couple more strips and ripped the rounded edges off. Then I've got them glued together. I cut them to length and what they're gonna do is go on either end and that will make it the correct height and give me a nice surface to mount the legs onto. So I'm gonna get some more adhesive squeezed on and get these screwed into place. The legs before just went on with some screws which worked fine but it's not the ideal solution if you want to take them on and off to move and I don't think it's always the strongest way so what I'm going to use is some threaded inserts. These legs kind of have one bigger support, which I'm going to get in the corner. Now I'm just going to mark out the center of where all the holes need to go and I can drill them 
for the inserts. I've got 20 of these to wind in and I'm lazy. So I've chucked up a bit in my impact driver. I should get these installed in no time. I'm not gonna get the legs on quite yet because I wanna paint first. So I'm masking up all the furniture board so I don't get any paint on that. Now as for the colour, I suggested a nice matte black, but the client has gone for pink lemonade. What can you do? The paint's now dry, so I can get these legs lined up with my holes, and I've got some pan-headed bolts that I can use to get these attached into place. With the legs on, let's see if we can get this down now without damaging it. Excellent. All this masking tape can now come off, but I've still got exposed edges on this, so we need to do some edge banding. I've got some of this edge banding that goes on with some heat. Now, I thought I had a well-stocked workshop, but I've had to borrow a tool to do this. Never heard one. An eye on? I, anyway. Gonna get it heating up and try and get this applied. It seems pretty easy to use. I wonder if uh, Bosch make a nice one in blue. I'm going to use a utility knife just to trim the ends and then I've got a nice sharp chisel that I'm going to run along the top and trim that flush. So that's it all done. A new crafting table, which hopefully is better than one you can get from Ikea. It certainly feels more sturdy. And I think having these wooden aprons going around the outside would be really practical because you can screw things into it. You have some cable management. You can put little pots for pencils or brushes. I think it's gonna work well. So hopefully the boss will be happy. I definitely love the color myself. So that's it all done. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.